I'm actually making a video at a decent time after the show. It's day after. And my voice is a lot better than it was last night. Like, I fully, I'm, I sound normal to myself. I feel a little, or like I hear to myself a little, like, hoarseness in there. But for the most part, it is back to normal, and I'm so thankful for that. My throat still kills, but it's back to normal. Uh, last night, I went and saw NXT house show. Uh, it was incredible. To me, that is probably the best NXT house show since um, the first NXT Columbus show. And my throat's hurting again. Um, it was incredible. My voice is, my throat still hurts maybe, and like, I had a voice before the main event. Like, it sounded like this before the main event. Then it was a little more hoarse come the Johnny Gargano's entrance, and then I was full Johnny Ace after the match. But I got, I'll get into some merch stuff first. So first, um, I bought this NXT poster just because uh, I like NXT. Uh, I've got a whole like section of my room dedicated to NXT. It, this is not going to fit on that, but I don't know what I'm going to do now. But uh, I do love NXT so much. And then plus it's got like Johnny Gargano and Cash Zono and like Candice are some of my favorites of all time. And like I love uh, Undisputed Era, Velveteen, Black, Shayna, Kyrie. Pretty much I love everybody on this. Like I wouldn't say Lars is like in the people I love. Like in all honesty, like I hope his mental state is good. Like it gets better, but like nothing is hurt without him really and then like i don't know yeah first up post is really good they had for five dollars uh nxt glow sticks and i recorded this once but my camera like fell and just made everything look like shit i didn't feel like going through and editing it i just felt like doing this in one take so uh i'm redoing it all and i broke it just to see what colors they were. And uh, <laughs> they are just left over from TakeOver New Orleans, I'm pretty sure. Because these are the colors they were. This comes off kind of purple. More like just light. But these, these, these are yellow and purple. These are. These with an NXT sticker slapped on them. NXT stickers right here. Exact same thing. And like I said, the first time recording this video, I w wasting five bucks on that was actually not bad. And like, I have a fascination with Glow Sticks because I never got the chance to see DX live. So I never got the DX Glow Sticks, but these NXT ones are so cool. I love that they have the NXT logo on them. Or they just like, they're the takeover ones with NXT tape on them. I then bought a Undisputed Era armband. Uh, I never had a Nexus one and my boy Adam Cole is leading a stable so I had to pick it up. And NXT finally has cups, so I decided to go ahead and buy one. Like, I hate that Johnny isn't in, in the front and center. Like, um, Cole, O'Reilly, and Strong's cool. Then it pisses me off that Bobby Fish isn't on there. Which, like, it was probably made when he was hurt. But still. And then, like, Ricochet's cool there. Lars' placement, don't like that at all either. Johnny, over on the sides, though. But it's going to be displayed like this, probably. To not see as much Lars, you can see Johnny and Kaidi, Candice, Champa, Dream, Nikki Cross, Ricochet, Alster. I love it. And then Johnny Gargano shirts were $25 here. Everyone else was $30 or $35, like Velveteen Dream. Johnny Gargano shirts $25, so went ahead. And bought the Johnny Takeover shirt. I've wanted this. I believe this came out in Brooklyn. 
so I've wanted it since then. Never pulled the trigger though. Happy I haven't, didn't until now. And then I got the red Johnny Takeover shirt because my goal is to collect at the very least every single Johnny Gargano shirt OD releases. Um, <laughs> which it's probably gonna break because I don't really I don't know anybody who's going to the Cleveland shows and I want that I hate the Browns I want that stupid Browns Johnny Gargano shirt and I was pissed they didn't have it there like I mean I figured they knew that like Columbus loves a bandwagon for a football team that wins seven games suddenly thinks they're the shit um but no, we didn't get the shirt and it irritated me. Because I would have bought that too. But yeah, I got the two Johnny Takeover shirts. And they have the Arizona one and, or I guess the Phoenix one. And then the like Halloween one still on custom shop. So I will have to buy them one day. But like my main goal is to get like any Johnny Gargano merch. So like any figures cards are way too hard even though i have three of the six i need to complete the rainbow for the uh undisputed 2017 set but it's beside the point right now but yeah so show my ticket for it incredible like i said my favorite nxt columbus show it may just be reactionary me saying that, but my favorite one since the first NXT Columbus show. Started off super hot. Jackson Riker and Al er, and Steve Cutler versus Alistair Black and Ricochet. I'm loving that team of them. They're really good together. I mean, they're, Ricochet is one of the best on his own, and so is Black. But I do like the team so far. I hope they split up like post-Mania, just because... Those two are incredible singles, but they're also great together. And then, kind of upset, no Wesley Blake, but Riker and Cutler, damn good on their own. This is a very great opener, just ricochet can uh, tear a house down, uh, cause, look to my cousin I was with, and like, ricochet, they were... Forgotten Sons were outside of the ring and like Ricochet Like normally it's a spot where you'd see him like do a dive out of the ring or something and I was like the space is so small where the ring is at Express Live and, Like he wouldn't dive Then of course as I say that he gets out of the ring jumps onto the guardrail almost like because there's a platform where like the seated section is And then he like did a moonsault off of that and it was um Just Ricochet things it was incredible. Nick Shane Black, of course, won. Next, Cassius Ono came out and cut a just great heel promo. The end talked about how he's the one who takes like the new NXT toys, shines them up. And in my mind, not my mind, because Matt Riddle was never announced or like advertised for the show, so I knew he was gonna be there in my heart. I was like Bro, 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 come on. But then Punishment Martinez comes out. And I don't hate Punishment Martinez. I like Punishment Martinez. But, like, the gap. Matt Riddle, Punishment. I like Punishment. Just, he's not Matt Riddle. And I wanted Matt Riddle in my spot so bad. But these two had a great match. Cash is, I don't know, is seriously incredible. I wish he'd be used a little more. Like, I want this man to have a, like, long title reign with the North American title. And... Just, yeah, Punishment Martinez, of course, got the win, because Ono's the jobber to the new guys. And I only wish that I could just hear Pat McAfee commentating Punishment Martinez and Adam Cole. Um, next match, Brandon Gonzalez comes out and 
then her partner is Rhea Ripley. And I'm just, I'm like, oh yeah, I knew Rhea Ripley was here, but then I was like, it's still awesome to see her. And Mia Yim comes out, and then her partner is Candice LeRae, which I am going crazy for. Like, Candice is truly one of my favorites in the world. And see, like, I said this to my cousin who was with, uh, Candice is, like, one of those last, at most, five wrestlers that, like, the top of the indie scene that I always wanted to see live. Like, when I started getting heavy into independent wrestling, so, like, 2013, 14. She's, like, one of those last few people. Definitely in the last five that I need to see live. And, like, the list now in my head, like, without thinking about it too much, but, like, I know that I need to see are Matt Cross and the Young Bucks. That's really it. And hopefully I can do both of those someday. This is a great match. Uh, Candice got busted open like her nose at one point, so. And she was a trooper, still pulled through the match, carried on, killed it. And yeah. Me and Candace got the win because Candace is the greatest. Next match was Keith Lee versus Dominic Dijakovic. Uh, I didn't love this. Like, I loved their PWG match, of course, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, Keith Lee is... Tr like... There are, like, different aspects. Like, they're, like, my favorite wrestlers. Like, just to, like, just my favorite wrestlers, period. They're my favorite wrestlers to watch and ring. And then there are, like, my favorite wrestlers to watch to get inspiration. Like, Keith Lee is probably number two to Taz for me. Like, because if I were to ever wrestle, like, I legitimately want to be a cross between Keith Lee and Taz. Because Keith Lee's bigger guy but still one of the most athletic humans in the entire world and he's just so good then taz just threw people around even though he was short incredible this match was very good and then in a surprising i guess um i guess a single heel needed to win tonight uh Dijakovic got the win, and this was the perfect match to send us into intermission. After intermission's over, tag titles, War Raiders versus Bobby Riley, Bobby uh, Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. I butchered that completely. Um, Undisputed Era, incredible. Uh, so are War Raiders. And I've never seen... O'Reilly and Fish tag together live. I've been going to Ring of Honor shows pretty much consistently since 2014. They've always been in Japan when I've gone to those. And of course, Fish was uh, hurt last year during TakeOver. So, I got to see two boys wrestle live. It was great. Uh, they... Those two teams just killed it. O'Reilly is seriously one of the best, like... I don't want to say comedic wrestlers, but, like, he's one of the best at incorporating comedy into, like, serious matches. Like, there were times when they'd be both be down, and, like, War Raiders would go to perform, like, a move, and O'Reilly would get up and let Fish take it all. And then there was a spot where, like, they were... I believe it was Hanson with, like, was like going to like transition them into a suplex but then like o'reilly would pull fish down and then he'd pick up o'reilly and fish would pull o'reilly down and like that went on four times like with both of them and it was incredible but yeah war raiders of course retain and that was just i love love those teams Next match, oh shoot, I'm not. Okay, I believe this was um, 
Next match was Roderick Strong versus Velveteen Dream for the North American title. Uh, Roddy just kills it. Like, I said this as well. Um, Roddy's probably the wrestler I underrate, underrate most. When I think about just matches I've seen live. Because, like, he had a great one with Del Rio. Even though, like, I just don't like Del Rio. Those two killed it when I saw them wrestle. And then he killed it with Jay Briscoe. Like, three years ago almost when I saw him. And he's just, like, very good. And, again, killed it. Him and he and Dream killed it. Dream is so good. I cannot wait to see what just plans are in store for Velvet Team Dream. Because he is very, very good. Dream, of course, won. And incredible. Next match was Shayna Baszler defending the title against Bianca Belair. Um, this was the only match of the night I found myself cheering for the heel. Because they announced Shayna as representing the four horsewomen. I know it's been there, but like it just like that happened and it sparked. I was like, yes. So I was like just for the whole night. Like we know who the real horsewomen are, baby. Like this ain't no faux horsewomen shit here. And like I was just so like I was so like into it. I was like Clover. I can't do it well. But I was Clover. Or Spade. Why did I say Clover? I really got my cards effed up. Wow. My throat is affecting my head. I was full Spade. Um, full four. Just incredible. Like, um, yeah, I love Shayna. Shayna got the win tap out, of course. Awesome match. Shayna has tr become in the last... Since right before her NXT signing and through it, Shayna has become my top one of my top five favorite women's wrestlers in the world. Like branching into my top ten just overall. She's so good. And I re I hope she reigns with that NXT title forever. Like one of course, like I can't wait until we do the real horsewomen versus the faux horsewomen. And then we get I hope after that we get Ronda Shayna. Because that is a money feud. The main event. One of the best matches I've ever seen live. Um, Adam Cole versus Johnny Gargano. Uh, Johnny, the... Oh my gosh, Johnny. Legit the greatest wrestler in the world today. Um, I, I'd, put, I'd seriously put him against Okada. Like, Johnny's just so good. Um, I legitimately bought this ticket to see Johnny and like everything else came secondary like it really was that um <laughs> I if it could have been advertised as Johnny Gargano versus a broom <laughs> and I would have paid the 50 bucks I did for my ticket like I love Johnny Gargano more than anything in the world uh yeah. His music hit. I went ape shit. Um, and, like, it brought me to, like, thinking, like, again, if, like, there was one, like, I would write WWE a blank check. Like, let them put whatever amount of money they ha they wanted. If, like, they would offer up, because I know there was a camera right next to me. When he came out during TakeOver New Orleans, like, I would pay them so much money for the video of my reaction to Johnny Gargano coming out at TakeOver. Like, the video I filmed, I hear myself going apeshit. Like, I want to see, I want to see me going apeshit. Adam Cole is just incredible. Seriously, one of the best, like, but Johnny's the best in that match, just extraordinary. <laughs> um, Johnny won, which was beautiful. And uh, after he got on, talked about how he loves, like, um, he, like, in one of his first live events for NXT was in Columbus. 
He loves like coming here all the time because the crowd is always one of the best. Like I'm sure it's not gonna be half as like heartfelt and great as his speech in Cleveland. It doesn't deserve to be like he's from Cleveland. He loves Cleveland. Like I'm pretty sure once he gets back to the main roster, he's going to move back to Cleveland, and like he just he loves Cleveland. That's he loves his hometown. I love Columbus. <laughs> and uh, he then like did a whole like you guys are NXT, I am NXT. The whole we are NXT thing ended it, and it was uh, just such great babyface promo. Ended the night, and by the end of it, I was full um, Johnny Ace. <laughs> and I said, so I said, I was like, I don't have. I bought the two Johnny Gargano merch things that uh, I already that I didn't have because I have the red shirt. They had the 11 by 14 sign print, but I've got my Johnny Candice poster, which is pro probably the number one thing for me in my collection. Like, even my Mania poster that's signed by Drake Maverick, Ryder, and Angle, or not Angle, um, Jason Jordan signed on top of Angle, which always throws me off when I'm thinking about it, uh. I probably, and then my TakeOver poster that's signed by Champa, that is probably my number one thing in my collection to me. I love that poster. Um, getting to meet them was such a huge thing, and it was, I loved it so much. That was um, the NXT show last night. I truly loved it. Um, I'm dying, like... I went two months. Like, I went from April until December without wrestling. And then I've only been two... I went two months. I went December 27th to February 28th without seeing... Like, in between the two shows. Um, April 30th is... The... Uh, is SmackDown, hopefully. I can go to that. I spent a little more than I was expecting to at here, so I don't know. But... Uh, <laughs> yes, I really do hope to go to SmackDown. If Kofi's champ, like I said it, I'm very much likely going. But again, it's going to be another two months. And then who knows how long it's going to be after April. Probably won't be until like September, October. The WWE comes back and it's going to suck. Oh yeah, and Ring of Honor is also in, the, in there like sometime in mid-April, which I am very much contemplating on going if Matt Taven's champ, because Matt Taven's the GOAT. I'm rambling, though. Um, Yeah, incredible. NXT. See you guys sometime with another video, hopefully soon.